We will now look at some non-normal conditions related to the air conditioning system. If the temperature in the supply ducts to the cockpit or passenger cabins is more than limits, the related zone temperature light illuminates on the cabin temperature controls panel. When the zone temperature light illuminates, the related trim air modulating valve closes. Push the master caution light to reset the warning system. To decrease the temperature in the related trim air supply duct, select a colder temperature with the related temperature selector. To let the trim air modulating valve operate as usual and to extinguish the zone temperature light, push the trip reset switch on the air conditioning bleed air controls panel. Now, with the air temperature selector, select the aft cabin to see the aft duct temperature. If this temperature in the duct increases quickly, then select the trim air switch off. When the trim air switch is off, the trim air valve closes. The packs operate independently. The left pack supplies air at the temperature selected by the flight deck temperature control selector, and the right pack supplies air at the average temperature of the forward and aft passenger cabin temperature selectors. The zone temperature light also illuminates if there are failures in the pack controllers. If the primary and secondary flight deck controller do not operate, the flight deck zone temperature light illuminates and the packs operate independently. If a flight deck temperature controller, the forward passenger cabin controller, or the aft temperature controllers fail, then the related zone temperature light illuminates when recall is selected. Select recall now. In this case, the packs also operate independently. Clear the master caution. If the temperature in the pack is too high, or if the pack output temperature is high, then the pack light illuminates and the related pack valve closes. Reset the master caution system. To decrease the load on the pack, select all the temperature selectors to a warmer temperature. Continue. Continue. To let the pack operate normally, push the trip reset switch on the air conditioning bleed air controls panel. The pack light will also illuminate if both the primary and secondary controller for the related pack do not operate. In this case, all control of the pack is lost and the system will not reset. If the primary or standby controller for the related pack do not operate, the pack light illuminates when recall is pressed. Control of the pack changes to the standby controller if the primary controller does not operate. 